The hollow body runner, amazing exercise for the core. Now we did the basic version last month, Review X1 for those mechanics. The biggest thing to take away is we gotta have that lower back flat to the floor, okay? We want the shoulders to lift and we wanna keep the knees tucked to the chest. Increase some tension in the pelvis, why not? We're here, let's do it correctly. Squeeze in and create some activation of the pelvic girdle and then I'm locked in. Now, here's where we start. I'm going to exhale, I'm sorry, inhale out through the nose and try to drive, see that extension I'm trying to drive? I can even point the toes, I really wanna to get crazy with it. Look at my feet, I can mobilize the ankles, all right? But anyway, I'm gonna exhale back and then switch sides. Extend and flex, so extend and flex, opposites. Try to pull the toes to the shin and come right back. Make it harder, why not? And now go overhead. And now the spinal stabilization goes to a whole nother level. You're gonna hate this exercise, but it's gonna change your life, so you're gonna do it next. Push up, walk out, baby. What do we got? Let's wake up the core and hip shoulder stabilizers. I can stop here, I can stop here. Ideally, we wanna get out to full range of motion with the arms fully extended. Hey, get that big nose down there, Aaron boy, and then walk it all the way back, all right? Now, I can also, that's gonna be more stretch hips and hamstrings. If I want to, I can start from a bear crawl position, which is the bear walk out. That's what we're doing today. Some more quad engagement also kind of helps get the ankles, knees, and hips, also feet and toes mobilized for squat prep. So, inhale out. Exhale back to bear crawl. Quads will be quaking, but still an amazing abs exercise. So right about now you're like, why does Uncle be biscuits? Do this to me, because we're, look at me. We are driven right now. This is the 10th movement, and by the way, you gotta do another version of it, another round of it. And uh, I know some of you definitely got challenged in the first month, but you're like, wow, this is, we're getting spicier, and that's what this is all about. Constant progression, but micro, so we don't overload the system, and we can do it for a long time. Here we go, we're taking that plank, you know the mechanics, we're viewing next one. Ice pick, push the shoulder blades away from each other, and then I want you to, don't do this like we did blocking in the past. Get wide enough to allow about hip width so I can start doing an exhale out. Inhale back, exhale out. Keep the hips and shoulders square. Same thing with the legs. Lift, exhale up, inhale down, and then we go opposite arm leg. Keep the hips and shoulders square. Try to extend and reach out if you can. Get some hip extension into it. And back, all right? Don't tell me when workouts aren't legit. You can't say it! Man, that bridge walkout so good for the hamstrings and the glutes, keeping the hips fully extended. We walk out in the full extension there, pull the toes to the shin, make sure they're not angled out. See that? We wanna have them right here locked in with those toes and keep up as we bring it back. Now, how do we make this harder? We can use our base of support progression right here to here to here in order of difficulty, but we can also do this. Exhale up, full extension here, full flexion here. Inhale back. Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out all the way. And then extra hard from that position, keeping those hips up. This is gonna absolutely give you the best glute hamstring workout of your life. But it's also easy on the spine, easy to recover from, and you can do it anytime, anywhere. I must be the greatest. All right, so now we're in the side plank, and what we did here is we went from the normal position with the arms in front of the face or at eye level, and then we're just gonna spin them and turn them rotate the shoulders, and that's gonna allow us to do this, which is transfer side to side. I'm showing you the easy version right now, but you can even start that on the first round, why not? It's gonna lie in a better, look, like if you go too hard, see where the hips will end up being. But if I have the light loader I can warm up into, it, look how much distance I get from the floor from my obliques. And that's what's really happening here. We are fucking frying the obliques. Now, I can add a leg raise here, abduction, to get the lateral hip rotators. Inhale across. Exhale up on the clamshell or lift. Now, we make this harder by straightening the legs. And again, straight line head through feet. I'm going to exhale away to side plank. And then one smooth move. Let that hip into full abduction. I'm gonna roll all the way back to the other side and really pull those shoulders down and back. Get that hip lift, right? Get that hip lift. Push up and ice pick the floor and then 
Bring it up, bring it down, and roll right back. I'm melting, and it'll make you melt too, sexually. The plank to push up transfer smokes the abs, triceps, and shoulders, but we can do it from a lot of different options. This is the classic option, all right? We can also do it from a bear crawl position, which increases the challenge on the shoulders and the quads. I can also pike up, get a more vertical angle, which is gonna challenge the shoulders in a big way. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do a sequence of that from push-up position, and then you're gonna do it from bear crawl, go both ways, keeping the hips and shoulders square to the ground, and then you're gonna do it from pike. Why you do this to me, Uncle Baby Biscuits? I design these workouts and I forget that I actually have to do them and show them. I'm dying right now. We're back to the side plank. We're rolling side plank. Now, the key here is, right, we did the abduction to get the outer hips. Now we're going to do the inner hips or abductors or groin with the inside leg lift. So I'm going to exhale across, and then I'm going to drive this into the hip flexion and push away from the ground to create that face right. So I could be here. And you know, I can still get some benefits, but if I'm up here, lock that out, boom. It's like a running position almost, right? But anyway, we're here, lift it. I just showed you something that's coming, didn't I? And then we get that inside leg, and I can add movement here and start swinging. But for now, we'll get there. Just focus on this and rock it out. gotta love the down dog. This is actually the Cobra, but the down dog or yoga push-up, right? We get full mobility benefits, warms us up for the push-up. Now, how do we make it harder? One option is to go one leg at a time, which is gonna increase the core stability challenge. Also makes this quad and glute have to work harder to stabilize. You gotta focus on this toe. You gotta drive it down underground. Dig the toes into the earth, okay? I'm gonna shift back, inhale through the nose into the belly. I'm gonna drive that heel up to the sky, try to get full hip extension there and maximize the stretch in the ankle, calf, and hamstring, okay? Coming forward on an exhale, bring that knee forward, activate those hip flexors, and again, don't get here. Keep the, the upper back rounded. How to make it harder? Watch this. Scat push up. All right, now, that's tough. So don't worry about the scat push-up component. Just do the knee and only. If you have wrist issues, elevate the heel of the hand. If you want to increase the wrist stretch, elevate those fingers. The one arm down dog is an advanced abs and hip mobility exercise. What we want to really focus on doing is get a nice wide base of support, dig your toes into the ground and keep your quads as active as you can. From there, I'm going to inhale back to the nose into the belly, trying to flatten the heels to the floor and see where I am right now. Now watch what happens when I use my lower traps to pull my shoulder blades down and kind of push away. See that? That's what I'm looking for there. Get a good stretch. You can pause for one or two seconds so you can do a little bit of a Uncle Baby hip wiggle. Exhale back. Now, what I'd like you to do to get the more, most out of this is do a scat push up. Keep the arms straight. Inhale down. Exhale up. Serratus anterior. Muscles alongside the ribs and shoulders ability to support. You want to be able to do a single arm push up. I know you do. Advanced trainees, okay? This is where it starts because if this is not strong and moving properly, you'll end up moving too much for the elbow and you're going to get shoulder pain. Now, here's some modifications. One, I can use a push up handle, a parallel or a dumbbell, I can go with a neutral grip. This is easier on my wrist. It also puts my shoulder in neutral position and gives me a little bit of elevation for better leverage. So, especially if your calves, ankles, and hips are tight, this will be much more accessible for you. All right? Now I can also play with slam boards. Elevating the heel of the hand will allow me to, if I have wrist mobility issues, be able to do the exercise better and without wrist pain. But if I want to make it an advanced movement, I can elevate the wrist and having two slant boards is nice because I can combine them. And now this is like basically uh, gives you mutant like wrist mobility. All right. Oh, 
all while stabilizing the spine. So, so many benefits, mobility, stability, and part of our single arm push-up progression. Do it today! T push-up works your core in all three planes of motion. Now, how do you increase the challenge on this exercise? Well, one thing, lock the feet together and squeeze the legs together. Smaller base of support, right? So more challenge from a stability standpoint as I have to kind of roll like this. Now I can also exhale up, lift the leg, work the abductors or lateral hips. Break it down one step at a time. Really want to make this hard. Fight for it. All right, super hard exercise, do the best you can. Be careful, you might fall back, maybe do it on a padded mat, but again, start by breaking it down, roll over, flip the leg, reset, plyo comes down the road. But I do wanna show you guys, anything's possible with enough consistency, determination, and craziness.